I'm the same nigga spin through the six. You live by the gun, don't doubt that bitch. Man down on the play, got left with a stick. Or the one trying to move this meeting, got left with the play. Pull up, start the car, let us out. We the new go to state. This a dead nigga, so let the bitch DOA bring it in. Bust it down, side back 28. I'm shooting the kill, I need all my dogs. Don't play about this shit, I need all my pay. I done tied up my cleats with the ones, get on feet. Pull up, get the shoot like Steph, we love the Steph. He was playing both sides, and I'm whacking the real. Before we start the video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us reach a wider audience and shows your support. Also follow my Instagram, at Dallas Scoreboard. In today's video, we will be discussing the ongoing beef between 5K and Channel 4. Before we jump into the politics behind this war, we first need to acknowledge that these two gangs are both from Oak Cliff, but in Dallas. Some neighborhoods are known to intentionally establish themselves as their own hood, as you will soon understand. 5K comes from the heart of Highland Hills. The Estelle Village Apartments aka the Pinks, if you're from this area then. I don't need to talk much about these apartments. Shootings, murders, burglaries really all crime is very common here and has been that way since this generation was still in diapers. But now things are to a whole different level. Much like majority of hoods in Oak Cliff, this is certainly a place you don't go if you aren't too familiar. It could easily cost you your life. 5K is basically a subset of 10K ATM. A group of older dudes 20 to 25 from the Devon Park Apartments. AKA the Browns led by 10K Low Wingford and Jorge Hefe. They are really just the younger generation that grew up around the older guys in the apartments, hence the name similarity. 5K notable members consist of two Glocks Red, La Bands, Mad Max, K-Man, Seven, Key, Hothead, Head Huncho, and Lil D. K-Man, K-Mizzle, Mizzle, or Baba is 5K's only fallen member. He was killed June 1st, 2020 to buy an accidental gunshot to the Head at a gas station, he was only 16 years old. They adopted the name Mizzle Jump Outs in his honor. 5K is also at war with killing for Mines K4M, which is a clique of bloods from Lancaster, specifically the Rosemonts of Lancaster Apartments. No hospital gang and HG in Pleasant Grove, all off finesse AOF from Hamilton Park, Mesquite, Fast Money FBG South Dallas, and HBO in Richardson Lau. Channel 4 comes out of BFL, which is a known bloodhood. They are from the infamous Prince Hall Apartments now, known as Paseo Apartments. The Prince Hall Apartments deserve a video of its own that is coming soon. Anyways, this section of Oak Cliff is extremely wild and dangerous. Leave your infinity running while you go in the store and you might as well say that shit is took. Just like 5k. Channel 4 is mainly a younger group consisting of teens 14 to 18 year old from the BFL area, and some from the Grove. Notable members of Channel 4 are Mark, La D, D for Glizzy, Spank, La Headshot, Cayenne, Steppa, and Tap. Channel 4 claims a dude named Mario. He was allegedly killed while getting pizza. Only picture I could find of Mario. Channel 4 is also known to be in the Las Lomas Apartments area, approximately 12 minutes from BFG. Channel 4 is at war with 5K, 6K, 8K, and HG and OS. I seriously don't know how these dudes are able to get a break when they are into it with so many sections. Something that I almost forgot to mention is the, the fact neither one of the groups have bodies on each other. They spin each other's sections back and forth, skied up with switches and drags, but there hasn't been any casualties fortunately. This generation of young Dallas teens are not the millennial generation that gave these hoods the fearsome reputation that it has now. They are on their way to making it deadlier. Some of these cliques aren't even chasing money these days. These kids are literally just bloodthirsty, itching for get back, revenge for this diss, that post. Nobody wants to be the bigger person and let any Amount of disrespect slide and fear of looking weak. Eat you, nigga. Ah, man, fuck out you, boy. Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. Nigga, die your ass.
rap at, nigga, say they be at, though. Like, is this, this the dry out here, man? I can merge. We too deep in it, though. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> Do what a young nigga say they be. I'm so far, KK trying to kid me. K man, jump out and show him with this shit. Get him. Just, let me go slow, fam. See if I spot a nigga ass or something, fam. I swear I'm a blazing guy. No bullshit. We too deep. I see some nigga down here. Oh, that's some little ass kid. You better get out the way for a nigga that get smoked. No bullshit. These niggas don't be over here, fam. They gonna have a big ass excuse. No bullshit. Well, that concludes this week's episode of The War in Oakleaf. I want y'all to keep in mind these people are real. People and these situations are really happening. So please don't go around your school or neighborhood false claiming or dissing someone you have never met. Stay tuned. Nigga, why would you kill? I told these nigga about speaking on mills. Keep speaking on, bro. That's an early dismiss.